Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I'm Manhar and welcome back to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to learn the steps on how to configure a Hyper-V pass-through disk. Usually, virtual machines use virtual hard disk as their storage devices. A virtual disk is a portion of a space on a physical drive that is allocated for use by virtual machines. However, it is also possible to use a physical disk connected to the host machine as a storage device for virtual machines. The setup is called a pass-through disk and Microsoft Hyper-V supports it. Pass-through disk allows you to assign a physical disk directly to a virtual machine. This way, the virtual machine can use the disk natively instead of having to create a virtual disk on the physical hard disk. The physical hard disk that you connect to a virtual machine can also be a network attached disk such as logical unit number in a storage area network. To ensure that the guest virtual machine has exclusive access to the storage, the disk must be placed in an offline state from the Hyper-V server's perspective. Pass-through disk can be good option in a situations where a Hyper-V virtual machine requires the best possible storage performance. After all, if a virtual machine can access storage directly, it will avoid the I.O. overhead associated with communicating through virtual disk. Let's configure a pass-through disk in Hyper-V. Step 1. Prepare the physical disk. Open Disk Management by right-clicking on the Start button and selecting Disk Management. Look at the disk you want to use as a pass-through disk. In the last video, we learned the steps to configure iSCSI storage for Hyper-V and attach a disk 2 with 100 GB size to a Hyper-V host. In our example, the disk 2 is currently offline. So first, let's bring the disk online. Right-click on disk 2 and select online. If your disk is new, right-click on it and select initialize disk. Choose either MBR or GPD as the partition style. Right-click the disk again and select Offline. The disk must be offline for Hyper-V to use it as a pass-through disk. A physical disk is now ready to be used as a pass-through disk in Hyper-V. Let's move to Step 2. Step 2. Add the pass-through disk to a virtual machine. Open Hyper-V Manager. Right-click on the VM to which you want to add the pass-through disk and select Settings. You can attach a pass-through disk to an existing SCSI controller, but I will be adding a separate, dedicated SCSI controller for the pass-through disk. Under Hardware, select SCSI controller and click Add button. Under the SCSI controller we just added, select Hard Drive and click Add. Select Physical Hard Disk. From the drop-down menu, select the offline physical disk we prepared earlier. In our example, it is Disk 2. Select the Disk 2. Click Apply and then OK to save the changes. The pass-through hard disk is now connected to the virtual machine. Let's go ahead and start the VM. Right-click on the VM and choose Start to power it on. Again, right-click on the VM and select Connect. Let's wait for the VM to boot up. Once you are inside the VM, open the Run menu, tap diskmgmt.msc and press Enter to open the Disk Management Console. Ensure that there is a second hard disk with 100 GB size. This is the physical disk we just attached using the pass-through disk feature. Format the disk and create a partition as needed within the guest operating system. Let me create a simple partition in our guest VM. Once the pass-through disk is prepared, you can start placing data on the drive. You can also use the pass-through disk to install the guest operating system on it. In order to configure a pass-through disk in a VM, you must select Attach a virtual disk later in the new virtual machine wizard. Once the pass-through disk is attached to the VM, you can proceed to install the operating system directly onto the pass-through disk. However, using pass-through disk has some significant disadvantages, which makes you migrate and remove the pass-through disk. The disadvantages include that the pass-through disk can only be used by a single virtual machine and Hyper-V cannot take snapshots of the pass-through disk. Additionally, the pass-through disk cannot be backed up by the Hyper-V VSS writer or any backup programs that rely on it. This point may limit the use of live migration feature. If you are using a pass-through disk and want to migrate to a virtual disk while removing the pass-through disk, check out the next video. That's all for this video on how to configure a Hyper-V pass-through disk. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Hyper-V and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.